what is up fellow dyslexics or people that have been sent here by my dyslexic friends. I'm here to tell you that for some of us we see our dyslexia as a kind of superpower. That we think that having dyslexia is a gift. Want to know why? Well then just keep watching. Let me explain. So dyslexics see the world in a different way. We can see a image or word and we can pick it up and we can turn it around and we can see it from all different angles which can make certain things really good but also make certain things really quite challenging. So whereas we will often find reading and writing and spelling difficult because we're seeing things uh, in our mind's eye in lots of different ways, there are a list of things that people with dyslexia could find much easier. Believe it or not, there are loads and loads of really successful people that were or are dyslexic. So some dyslexics are really good with science. For example, Einstein was dyslexic. Imagine the theory of rela rela relativity. Was able to imagine the theory of the of real, of what I just said then, theory of relativity years before it was discovered because he was able to see it in his mind's eye. Leonardo da Vinci and Picasso are also thought to be dyslexic. They were able to see these things from different angles, they were able to see an image and put it into practice. And I have a friend called Danny who has that exact same gift. Hi, my name is Danny and I'm dyslexic. Uh, I see my dyslexia as a kind of superpower. One of the main positives is related to my stone carving. Uh, in short, um, I see the design in the stone um, before I start carving it and I just take away all the bits that I don't want. My dyslexic brain uh, is the key to this skill and the reason I can carve stone the way that I do. One of the most successful businessmen, Richard Branston, is dyslexic and would say that a lot of his success is due to him being dyslexic. I think being dyslexic by and large helps people. I mean the great thing about being a dyslexic is you concentrate on the things that you're good at and you often excel at those things. You know most likely Virgin who now employs 90,000 people would not have been successful if I hadn't been dyslexic. I've got a friend who is very dyslexic but is an amazing engineer that can make and can take these machines apart and put them back together and just has this gift of being able to make these machines work. There are loads of people like that that were able to take the gift of dyslexia and use it as a superpower. It's true of actors and actresses like Tom Cruise and Kira Knightley. It's true of chefs like Jamie Oliver. It's true of authors like Roald Dahl. And it's true of filmmakers like Steven Spielberg and my friend Ruben, who would say that his gift of dyslexia enables him to just be good at making videos. No one's taught him what is right or what is good. He just sees it and he can make it happen. So for many of us, our dyslexia is a gift. And I'm not sure what that gift will be for you. It could be science, it could be movies, it could be sports, it could be leadership, it could be problem solving. So I wanna put it out there that I believe that everyone that has dyslexia will have some kind of gift. So if you are watching this and you are dyslexic, you may not know what that gift is. And that gift may come later on in life, but I wanna tell you that you have that there. So I hope I've explained that well. The gift of dyslexia is the ability to see things that aren't, the ability to pick things up, move them around, to see them from different angles. And for many people, that, that gift just isn't there. And so that's why dyslexia is a gift. That's why it's a superpower. Thanks for watching. If you haven't seen my video, how to tell if you're dyslexic, then please watch that. Then I will leave a link to that in the description below and it will be on the end screens. And I'm also just about to make a video about strategies of overcoming problems of dyslexia. And that will be again in the description below and on the end screens when I've made that video. Thanks for watching. My name is Pete Luther. I make videos about life, about living life with purpose, with passion. I want to encourage, inspire and motivate motivate you to live the life that you were made to. And so if that kind of thing interests you, if you want to know more about life and life hacks, then why not check out my channel and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss another video.